Welcome back to our continuing series for the dental assistant serving as a volunteer with the University of Florida College of Dentistry. In this video, we're going to be talking about local anesthetic, the system, and how to handle the equipment related to the delivery of local anesthesia in dentistry. Local anesthesia is the idea of causing certain nerves to become anesthetized or non-functional for a short period of time, usually several hours. As the nerves become non-functional, then it's able, uh, then it's possible for the, the dentist to perform services to those teeth or to those tissues and not have the patient feel any pain. Uh, the, the way that we render these tissues non-functional uh, temporarily is with the local anesthetic solutions or drugs. The drugs that we typically use are going to be uh, lidocaine is a common one, uh, articaine or septicaine is another, uh, carbocaine or mepivacaine is one, uh, bupivacaine or marcaine is another. So these are the most common drugs that we use. Uh, they are delivered uh, to us in a glass vial and the glass vial uh, has about 1.8 or in that range of uh, local anesthetic and uh, which is typically uh, enough to cause a region to become anesthetized for us. The, uh, the vial itself uh, is made up essentially three parts. The glass vial itself and then at one end there is a, an aluminum cap that is covering or protecting a small uh, rubber diaphragm uh, at the other end, uh, there is a plunger, a rubber plunger, uh, if you will, it serves as a piston to push the drug out. And then there is uh, a plastic cover over top of the glass that has information related to the, to the drug. But also, uh, being it's a tough plastic, in the event that the glass should fracture, uh, that it would hold the pieces together. The syringe that we use is called an aspirating syringe. That syringe is designed uh, to have a thumb ring. The thumb ring specifically is to allow the doctor to or the operator to pull back on the uh, syringe and within the carpule or within the cartridge, uh, the glass vial is called a cartridge or a carpule, to allow a negative pressure or a vacuum so as to pull up through the needle into the glass vial, whatever may be uh, within the tissues. Now, uh, typically there's nothing would ever come back, but in the event that the uh, needle tip is within a blood vessel, that uh, as you pull back, you would find that there would be blood coming back into the glass vial, and you would know right away that you're in a blood vessel. With this, we do not ever want to inject into blood vessels, uh, because that would then uh, cause uh, two things to happen, or possibly two things to happen. One is that the local anesthetic would be delivered throughout the whole body, through the vascular system, and the local area that we're trying to become, have, uh, become anesthetized would not become anesthetized. Uh, the other thing, though, is one of safety for the patient is that the local anesthetic itself, if it finds its way to other body parts other than what we have designated, principally the brain or the heart, that we could have significant complications, uh, health complications to the patient. The other medication that we find or drug that we find within our solution of local anesthetic is usually a vasoconstrictor, uh, usually it's epinephrine. Now, a vasoconstrictor, vaso means uh, vessel or uh, constrictor to constrict blood vessels. Now, why do we want to do that? The reason is that as the blood vessel constricts in the local area, uh, it will reduce the amount of blood flow to that area so that the drug, the local anesthetic drug that we inject into that area will stay there for a period of time. So we want to slow down the blood vessels, uh, the blood running through those blood vessels, uh, not for a long time, but again for a period of time. That way we will extend the, uh, the anesthetic effect in, the, in a particular area. If the epinephrine should find its way into the bloodstream, however, 
we find then that the epinephrine would cause a what we classically know as a fight or flight response and it would cause the blood pressure to go up, it would cause a certain amount of anxiety to the patient. Uh, they would feel as though uh, they're very anxious and they don't really understand why. And luckily uh, this lasts just a few minutes, but we don't want it to occur at all. And so by being able to aspirate or to pull back to make sure that the blood vessels uh, are not uh, being pierced, if you will, by the needle tip, we can prevent that to a large degree. So that is why we use an aspirating syringe. The third part of our system, the delivery system, is the needle, the needle that would pierce through the tissues and then have the drug delivered. It is that there is a hub that is allowing the needle to be secured onto the syringe and then at both ends of the hub you find a long needle with a very sharp point uh, that would then uh, be used to pierce the tissues. Then on the other end you would find the other end of the needle which has a uh, sharp point, not as sharp, but its uh, purpose is to pierce into the diaphragm so as to allow the drug solution that's in the carpule to be able to uh, be pushed out with the plunger. Now all of these things are now going to be demonstrated to you uh, with a series of still photographs and uh, video images uh, to help you understand. It's very, very important uh, that uh, as you serve as a dental assistant, that uh, you work at the, uh, uh, that, you, that you work with your doctor, and as you gain experience, you will have more and more encounters with this anesthetic syringe. Typically, uh, volunteers uh, don't uh, handle this instrument very much, but as you gain experience, you may. So take your uh, lead, if you will, from your doctor, who will then show you how to work with it. We will show you how to load and unload the syringe, and uh, hopefully this will allow you to be uh, useful to your doctor there in the, in the uh, clinical setting. If you have any questions, certainly, as you work in the clinic, make sure that you talk with your doctor and ask them uh, the questions that you have. Hopefully this video will help you to understand the fundamentals or basics of the aspirating syringe. In these photographs, you can see that there are three parts, the aspirating syringe, the anesthetic carpule, and the needle. All of these are necessary in order to provide local anesthesia. Here's the syringe with the carpule. Here's the syringe with the carpule and the needle about to be placed. And here is a fully assembled local anesthetic aspirating syringe. As you work with the syringe, you'll notice several things. The harpoon. The piston, which is spring-loaded in an outward direction the needle adapter, and the thumb ring. As you install the carpule into the syringe, notice the plunger because it will need to match with the harpoon. Push the piston back, creating space for the carpule to fit into the syringe, then squeeze in order to secure the harpoon into the plunger. Check to make sure that it's tight. With the needle, look for the sear, the seal, break the seal, remove the cap, and then take the short end of the needle, screw it into the needle adapter, piercing through in through the diaphragm. Make sure the needle is perfectly secure and it's flush at the needle adapter. When you take the cap off, Flex it slightly and then gently pull the cap off, revealing the needle underneath. Do not recap the needle as is shown here. You will poke your finger. Rather, use the single handed scoop technique so that you may be able to put the needle inside the cap and then push it on after the needle is inside the cap. When it's time to remove the needle, just unscrew it and set it to the side so it goes in the sharps box. Next thing is to pull back, disengaging the harpoon from the plunger, 
and then dropping out the carpule. What you have just seen is a short demonstration of how to load and unload a local anesthetic syringe. This will take practice, so work with your doctors and work with the staff to become proficient with this skill. Thank you.